Brittany. Hey, so you're on now with Jason, who's calling from Johannesburg, South Africa. Go ahead, Jason. Thank you. Hi, Brittany. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Thanks. It's a pleasure to, to speak to you, I must admit. Uh, it's uh, all been a bit of a whirlwind, I'm sure, for you. <laughs> yeah, it has. It totally has. And how, how are you coping with, uh, with all this uh, focus and attention on the back of uh, having such a huge uh, first single? Um, I'm coping with it well, I think. Actually, right now I had a little break, so that's kind of nice. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's really flattering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, just as far as um, how well it's gone, I think, um, obviously, with, with the first single, uh, Baby One More Time, um, is it anything that you expected? I mean, did you expect it to, to be so well um, received, especially um, in the UK as well? I mean, well, I really hoped that it would, but I really didn't expect for it to be this out of the, you know, this, you know, this big. But, um, uh, but I really, really hoped and dreamed that it would, but I didn't expect for it to be this big. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I say, just on the on the back of uh, of everything that's gone crazy and being, I think, in very much a, a crazy business, um, have do you find yourself having to sort of stop and take a deep breath and? Um, sort of gather yourself and see and make sure you you, you still know what's important? Um, yeah, I mean, with you traveling and everything, I see what you're saying, you can tend to probably just get caught up in everything, but like with me to being able to come home and just let my mind be at peace and just, you know, focus on my school and stuff like that, you know, those are the things that keep me, you know, grounded and just being on the phone with my mom every night and stuff like that. And I'm really, I'm not the type of person to let all that, stuff basically go to your head, you know, with people telling you how wonderful you are, you know, that's, you know, that's just like completely goes over my head, so mm. that's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so it's, it sounds as if you've got a good support system around you to sort of keep you grounded. Yeah, definitely. And um, as I say, just as far as uh, with this being your debut album, um, and obviously this is not completely new to you, obviously with your... Um, having been involved with uh, with television before and that kind of thing. Um, how does it compare to, uh, to to being in sort of the Mickey Mouse Club and coming on to being respected as, well, in your own entity as being one person? Is it a bit daunting having having all the lights sort of uh, on you and the focus being purely on you and not in a group? Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Well, the Mickey Mouse Club was just, totally different, you know, it was something, this is something I've always wanted, it's, it was what I'm doing now, but the Mickey Mouse Club was, you know, so different, and I thought there were so many kids, and no one was spotlighted, and, you know, but yeah, it was totally different. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, just looking at the album, um, as much as um, you haven't, you weren't responsible for, for writing any of the songs um, that I could see, but um, did you did you make sure that you were involved um with how the album came together to the point of you being uh, presented in a way that you'd like yourself to be seen? Um, yeah, definitely, you know, because there's these older people writing your songs and they come to me and they're like, well, does this song fit you? Does this song fit you? Is it too old or is it too young? Or, you know, and I would have my say so in that, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And is it important to you that, uh, that you, as much as at this point, as I say, are singing other people's songs, that you, um, from doing a video to, um, I'm sure, to the point of actually um, writing your own material, that, um, that, that's, that, that, that you profile yourself from the beginning as being seen as the person that uh, you'd like the world to know you as. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And any particular element of, uh, of what you're doing at the moment that uh, is particularly um, rewarding for you? Oh, at the moment? Yep. Um, really, right now, I'm just <laughs> at home um, trying to get my leg better, you know, but um, mm -hmm. at the moment, um, this is my plans for the future, basically, are just to, you know, when my leg gets better, to do the second video, and after that, you know, start rehearsals for my own tour, mm -hmm. and that would be really rewarding. Mm -hmm. how, how was it uh, being on tour with NSYNC? Was that a good, a good warm-up uh, or you doing your own thing, just seeing how everything comes together? Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, it was really good, you know, and to see how, what, you know, what, how much is involved with the tour and stuff like that, you know, that's going to help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I was just um, having a look at your website, and um, on the website, uh, you would um, ask a question about what uh, what you were listening to, and uh, it seems to be pretty broad. You go from sort of alternative rock right through to sort of um, pop tunes, but a lot of female vocalists today um, as well. Um, what um, or who would you say um, is the person that inspired you the most um, to get to the point that you are now? Probably, um, probably Madonna, because her music is just, you know, out there and just wonderful, and she changes every time when she comes out, and she knows what the people want to hear, and I totally respect that. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously songwriting um, would be important as well, I would think, because I think you're in a, you're in a very um, privileged position at the moment where obviously you've got a, a fan base that is growing at a, at a rate of knots, but... Um, do you, do you feel that you have a, a certain responsibility um, being being in the position that you're in? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, definitely. Oh, people looking up to me and stuff. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's really important that you know um, you know if I get more and more every day, more and more people looking up to me, and um, I Responsibility. I mean, to the point of, you know, being somebody who could probably walk into a store and, and you wouldn't have a problem. Now you've got people wanting to know what you have for breakfast and what you're having for lunch and, you know, um, what your favorite color is. Uh, is there a point that you just sort of think to yourself, oh, you know, um, I'll write it all down and you can read it on my website. You know, it's just a bit too much. Um, <laughs> well, it hasn't gone to that extent. You know, like with people coming up to me like that. But, um, you know, usually I'm pretty cool about talking to people, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you talk of um, taking your music, um, obviously, on the road and have um, and being, being and singing to a live audience. Um, that's obviously something that, uh, that must be um, as rewarding as well, seeing that instant feedback from, from you know, from the fans. Oh my God, that's like the best feeling in the world when you go out there and, you know, those kids are singing the songs, I mean, the words to your song, and that's just really overwhelming. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, now that the album is, is out there, do you, you know, were you a little bit weary, um, you know, when the album was released that, uh, you know, that everybody would uh, sort of rush up and buy it, or were you afraid that, you know, that, that, the, that the press or that the following may not be as strong? Oh, yeah. I was scared. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I want, you know, I was really worried about, you know, if it was going to sell or if it, because, you know, there's a lot of people that have good singles and stuff, but their album really don't sell, and I was just really nervous about that, but, you know, when it started selling, I was like, oh my God, you know, the fear is over. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you said that you're resting up your, your leg at the moment. You, you heard that recently, didn't you? How did that happen? Um, I was in L.A. and I was at dance rehearsal. And I just kicked my leg up and my, my knee just went out of socket. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. It can be a bit frustrating, I'm sure. Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, to say, it, I mean, obviously the, the expectations to this point have been um, well exceeded, but uh, in doing this album, what was it that, uh, or what is it that you want to put across to people? Um, really, I mean, I just want, you know, to reach out there to mainly, you know, my age group that I want to see, you know, the teenagers and just, you know, just going in for what you believe in and just trying to pay confidence in yourself because there's kids out there and they, they, they tend to, you know, they lose their self-confidence and they go down and they end up going in the wrong crowds and, and that's when, you know, all the bad stuff starts. But if they have something to look forward to, which is, you know, writing, dancing, singing, or whatever it may be, something that'll make them feel good about themselves and make them happy, you know, then they will take, don't, they won't lose confidence and they will feel better about themselves and, you know, they'll want to do better for themselves. And that's basically what I'm trying to do, you know, with the album, which is, you know, you know, just having fun and, and like, you know, turn on the radio and just put yourself in a good mood and not listening 
to a depressing song, you know, mm. whereas with my music, it's, it's fun and it puts you in a good mood, basically. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, have you found that you've perhaps had to put a lot of the, um, a lot of um, the things that you would say perhaps have done being a, a 17 year old um, and having to sort of be, um, well, having to grow up a lot quicker um, in order to be able to deal with, um, you know, to, to deal with this new new life that you have? Yeah, I do find that because, um, you know, with, with just me being around adults, you know, that, that tends to, you know, um, you can't help but, you know, just because being associated with so many adults to grow up faster, you know. But, I mean, it's okay because when I was younger, I always had older friends, so it kind of eats out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brittany, uh, we're probably not going to get an opportunity to, uh, to speak to you again, I'm sure, for quite some time. Um, so I was wondering if I could just take this opportunity um, to ask you to do a couple of IDs for us. Okay. Um, the first one is for 5FM, which is South Africa's um, biggest national pop station. Um, it's basically just the number 5 and FM music radio. Um, that would be the first one. Do you want me to give you the list first and then... Yeah, yeah, I'll just in a second, let me get a pen. Thanks. So it's 5 Music Radio? Yeah, 5 FM Music Radio. Okay. And then you've got um, Radio Tux, it's T-U-K-S. T-U-K-S, okay. And you've got uh, K-F-M. Okay. And then you've got E-C-R. Okay. And then you've got, um, just wanna, don't want to give you too many because I think it's certainly not fair to have you do hundreds. Um, let's have a quick look on my list here. Um, I think that'll do for now. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, whenever you are. Hi, this is Britney Spears and you're listening to Baby One More Time on 5FM Music Radio. Hi, this is Britney Spears, and you're listening to Baby One More Time on Radio Tux. Hi, this is Britney Spears, and you're listening to Baby One More Time on KFM. Hi, this is Britney Spears, and you're listening to Baby One More Time on ECR. You do that so well. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you so much, Britney. I know your time is, um, it should be your own at the moment, and uh, I do hope that your, your leg gets better soon. To the point okay. that... Um, uh, we, we do hope at some point uh, that uh, we can get you out to South Africa. I'm sure the world is crying out that you come and visit them shortly. But um, we'll wait. And um, <laughs> but, um, thank you. Well, good luck with it all. Um, you know, okay, well, thank you. I'm thank sure you it's, so it's going to be an adventure. I'm sure it will. Thanks again. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.